One of the things people keep forgetting about Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 is that it is also a mobile operating system because it's the exact same software running on Windows tablets. So it's only natural that certain utility apps such as alarms are included in the software. I'm Alex Bavulsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're looking at alarms in Windows 8.1. So the alarms tile is, for me, right under utilities, but of course you can access it by hitting the arrow and looking at the very first app you probably have. So I'm just going to tap on alarms, and this is actually a really helpful app, again, if you're using a tablet. Not so much for a desktop or laptop computer, but definitely for a tablet or tablet-laptop hybrid. So the alarm is the first thing that would normally pop up. I already had the app open, so it showed me timer. Now you can have multiple alarms, and it's really simple. If you want to turn it on, all you have to do is hit the bell, and immediately you can turn it on or off. But if you want to edit the alarm, just tap on the tile. You could rename it, so I'm, maybe I'm going to rename this just uh, Wake Up. And then you can change the time. I like the time-changing interface with these two dials. The hour is the inner one, and then the minutes is the outside one. I think that's actually pretty cool. And does something that I don't see a lot of. Now, for the mouse, it's not as easy, but I could certainly see how easy that would be to do with finger. And then you have AM or PM. So we're going to do 7 o'clock AM. Now you can change your occurrence, repeats, on which day it repeats, and the sound. Now there are tons of different sounds for you to choose from. Um, I'm not going to play these, but of course you can try them out for yourself. You can save it from here, you could cancel your changes, or you could delete the alarm entirely right from here. So I'm just going to hit save. Um, now by default this is on, but I'm going to turn it off real quick. To add a new alarm, just hit plus, and from here you can create a new alarm. Now this one's blue, I think that's pretty cool as well and uh, the alarms will certainly change color depending on the amount of alarms you have and the time of day. So if I go and do maybe 11.38 p.m. and hit save, uh, now my blue alarm is for 11.30. And if I do another alarm, now I have orange. So it's just an aesthetic thing. I like it, but um, totally up to you on whether you like that or not. Now, uh, before we go any further, I would like to point out that there are settings and uh, permissions that you can take a look at from here, but they're not really a lot. You just want to make sure that your um, tablet or computer is on, and therefore the alarm app will work correctly. Next up, we can go to timer. Now, this is just called a countdown, but of course, you can rename this as well, and you can have multiple timers, which is really nice. Something that I don't understand why it's not include, included in iOS 7, it really confuses me. Um, multiple timers just seems like a normal given thing. If I have a pie in the oven and I'm also cooking soup on the stove, why can't I have two timers? I don't know, but uh, something available on Android, something also available in Windows 8.1. So I'm just going to name this Take 1. I could delete it right from here, but I'm going to leave it up. Now we have the minutes and seconds. Now, the only annoying thing for this, if you want hours, you have to do a complete revolution of the minutes. Um, chances are you're not going to have too many hours on your uh, timer, though, so you're probably not going to be too worried about that. 30 minutes, 30 seconds, just hit the play to make it go. And uh, the restart thing is just right at the top to reset it or restart it. Pause and restart. We'll put it right back at the beginning. Once again, the plus up top to add another one, and the colors are continued. Blue would be next, then orange, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to hit delete. Lastly, we have the stopwatch. Now this is incredibly simple. There's only one, because you should only need one. And uh, you just hit play, and immediately we, we see the seconds. I can flag a certain area, so maybe I'm going to wait for eight seconds. Flag that. Um, and then they call them laps and splits. Now, I kind of find it annoying that uh, they automatically assume laps and splits. You can't rename this however you want, but uh, I can just flag a different area. And, um, of course, I could copy the certain times if I want to use them in different areas. But, um, again, totally up to you. Once I hit pause, I have the option of resetting it to the beginning. And there you have your stopwatch. Now this is always going to have the orange theme, so don't worry about it.
So the alarm app is incredibly simple and easy to use. It's just something that should be a given on any mobile device. So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How To Do Tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.